hello guys welcome back to the channel and here we are back with the next set of questions if you have missed out the previous videos do check out the entire playlist from the channel hit the subscribe button so that you receive notification whenever a new video is shared and you can use all the resources on the channel for your preparation for a thorough preparation for cbsc as well as for isc examination we have a lot of stuffs on the channel do check that out without further ado let's get started we are going to solve a four three marks question there are sub parts in question 19 and question 20 both so there are total four questions we are going to cover in this video and both are going to really help you understand your concepts and that we have got is question number 19 Alex Limited issued 1 lakh shares of rupees 10 each at a premium of 10% to the public for subscription. The whole amount was payable on application. Applications were received for 3 lakh shares and the board decided to allot shares to all the shareholders on pro rata basis. You are required to pass journal entries for the above transaction in the books of Annex Limited. So let's have a look. So the first journal that we will have here is bank account debit to share application and allotment account we have to credit both as it is said that you have to read the question carefully to be able to do it correctly and the first instance itself if you see this says the whole amount was payable on application so the company has received the entire amount on application itself and when that is the case we credit share application and allotment account here in this case created and in the second one it is debited Okay, and there's another trick that you have to keep in mind here. Okay, uh, so the first journal is done. The premium is one rupee per share. Okay, so in that case, it is 11 rupees total value of the share, including premium. And if applications are received for 3 lakh shares, that means total money received on application is 33 lakhs, 3 lakhs into 11. Okay. So the second journal will be the transfer entry where we are transferring this to the share capital account. However, here one point to be noted, since all the money has been received and everyone has paid. Okay, so there is no point and no requirement of adjusting the excess application money with allotment. That is where you might be uh, finding the trick here because everything is received and nothing is due so whatever excess that has been received by the company will be refunded to bank account 22 lakhs so company is issuing 1 lakh shares of 11 each including premium so that is 10 lakh to share capital and 1 lakh to securities premium 11 lakh and the remaining the excess 22 lakhs will be refunded to the applicants this was the trick here if you have this in mind you can do it easily otherwise you might end up writing to share allotment account but again there is nothing to adjust with share allotment you have already received the entire money and all the shares are issued okay let's move on to the next one number b show one limited to cover the assets of 60 lakhs and liabilities of 10 lakhs from swami limited for an agreed purchase consideration of 45 lakhs the amount was payable by issuing 10% debentures of 100 each at 25% premium. So the issue price is 125. These are the things you have to keep in mind when you're doing the sum. So issue price is 125. That plays an important role for calculating the number of debentures being issued. You are required to pass journal entries for the above transactions in the books of Shovon Limited. Let's have a look. Now before moving on, in these questions since this carry three marks the marking scheme is there for each journal you have 1.5 marks allotted so if you do the journal correctly you get 1.5 marks and the second one also if you do it correctly you get 1.5 points total three points that is the marks bifurcation so be very very careful when you're doing those sums so move on to the second journal here the first journal is the assets and liabilities which are being acquired so sundry assets account debit 60 lakhs to sundry liabilities 10 lakhs to swami limited the purchase consideration which is 45 lakhs now if you do the net asset calculation 60 lakhs minus 10 lakhs is 50 lakhs but the purchase consideration is 45 lakhs so there is a shortfall of 5 lakh on the credit side that means the value of the company was 50 lakhs 
but still it was available for purchase at 45 lakhs so that's a capital profit for showroom limited so 5 lakh goes to capital reserve okay and had it been the reverse case you must have done in other cases if the purchase consideration was more than 50 lakhs the net asset value in that case the excess value would have gone to goodwill account okay the excess is for goodwill which is being acquired and that's called the purchased goodwill so the first journal is done be very careful when you're doing the capital reserve entry the second journal is issue of debentures to swami limited which is the vendor here so 45 lakhs is debited to his account that is the final amount or net amount that he will get this company would get however what you are required to do is calculate how many debentures you're going to issue so the formula is purchase consideration divided by issue price of each debenture purchase consideration is 45 lakhs issue price is 125 so the number of debentures which are being issued is 36000 36000 into 100 becomes 36 lakhs and that is the face value of the debentures being issued bahut dhyan se karna hai isko 10% debentures account is created with 36 lakhs and there is a premium of 25 rupees so 25 rupees into the number of debentures which is 36000 that becomes 9 lakhs so that becomes your securities premium reserve account okay or other way around is 25 percent of 36 lakhs is your premium so that is also 9 lakhs there are different ways of doing it but so this is the journal the second journal and here as well the marking scheme is 1.5 for the first one and 1.5 points for the second one if you would do both of them correctly you get three on three this was question number 19 let's move on to question number 20 that we have part a this is a calculation which is required on 1st april 22 the capital of the firm of ashu and madhav is rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand the normal rate of return on capital employed is 10 percent average profits of the firm are 23500 you are required to calculate goodwill of the firm based on three years purchase of super profits so you have to use the super profit method here for that first step you have to calculate the normal profit where we have the capital employed given 150 nrr is given which is normal rate of return 10 percent so normal profit is 10 by 100 or 10 percent of 150 which is 15,000, and you have one mark allotted for this one then average profit which is given 23500 you calculate the super profit which is average profit minus normal profit which comes to 8500 23500 minus 15000 you are able to calculate this you get another one point next one the final step is calculation of goodwill goodwill equals to super profits into number of years of purchase for this formula you have half mark allotted and then you do the multiplication 8500 into 3 which gives you 25500 which is your final goodwill answer for that you have half mark allotted so this is the marks breakdown for the three mark sum under part a of question number 20 let's move on to part b of 20. we have the calculation of interest here rakshit and malik are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio 4 is to 1. now on 1st april 21 their capitals were 1 lakh 20 and 80 thousand respectively on 1st december 21 they decided that the total capital of the firm should be rupees 3 lakh to be contributed by them in the ratio 2 is to 1. now this is easy calculation 3 lakh in the ratio 2 is to 1 that means 2 lakh and 1 lakh so those will be the new capital for Rakshit and Malik effective 1st December before 1st December till 1st December or from 1st April to 1st December or 30th November you can say rather the capitals of Rakshit and Malik would be 1 lakh 20 and 80 respectively so there is a change in capital because of that there will be change in interest on capital calculation as well so that's what we are required to calculate here let's have a look so for Rakshit, interest on capital from 1st April to 30th November, which will be calculated on 1,20,000, which is his capital, at the rate 6% per annum. And that will be done for the period of 8 months. 
April till 30th November. So that comes to 4800. And the second bit will be calculated on 2 lakhs again for at the rate 6% per annum but for 4 months that is from December till March. And that comes to 4000. So Rakshit's total interest on capital is 8800. And if you are able to do this calculation, you secure 1.5 marks for yourself. Next for Malik, same way we will do it. For the first 8 months, interest will be calculated at the rate 6% on 80,000. That comes to 3200. And for the remaining 4 months, interest will be calculated on 1 lakh at the rate 6% per annum. That comes to 2000. So Malik's total interest in capital is 5200. And if you're able to do this, you secure another 1.5 marks for yourself. So these were the four sums that we covered in this video. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments box below. I'll help you out. If this really helped you to understand your concepts and also understand the marking scheme, hit the like button and do share with your friends. Stay tuned to this channel because there will be loads of videos that will be coming in that will help you to prepare even better for your examination. Thanks for watching.